There are a lot of scam emails going around these days. I've just come across one supposedly from Netflix. It was sent to a friend with the subject, update your payment information for a new subscription. His subscription was coming to an end so he didn't think twice about opening it and clicking the link. Let's take a look at why that's a bad idea and what we can learn from this email. Obviously, this email is not from Netflix. If you opened it in Gmail, you will get a big red warning saying, this message seems dangerous. Similar messages were used to steal people's personal information. Avoid clicking links, downloading attachments or replying with personal information. Unfortunately, this message didn't appear when they opened it in Hotmail on a phone. Let's look at everything wrong with this email and how you can tell it's fake. 1. The first warning sign is that the subject line, update your payment information for renew subscription, that sentence doesn't even make sense and there is a spelling mistake. Number 2. It says it's from Netflix, however the email address says anything at justcbt.com. This is not a Netflix domain. You would expect to see something like no reply at netflix.com in the email address. Looking at the body of the email, they did have a logo of Netflix here, however it seems to be blocked by my Gmail account. Now let's look at the message itself. Unfortunately, we were unable to renew your membership account. We could not authorise your payment for the next billing cycle of your subscription, therefore we've suspended your membership. Two things here. One, there is no space after the first full stop, period in America and there is no period or full stop at the end of the sentence. To keep your membership account active, just sign in and update your payment information. Press the button below to get started. At this point, you want to hover over the link to see where it takes you. Most probably a malware infested site. Never click on these links. Onto the third paragraph and the font looks different. I think the line spacing has changed. Obviously, we'd love to have you back. If you change your mind, simply restart your membership and update your payment to enjoy all the best TV shows and movies without interruption. Another missing period and the IF is not capitalised. It's just a catalogue of errors. We're here to help you if you need it. Visit the Help Centre for more info or contact us. Again, no full stop at the end. A company like Netflix wouldn't write and release such an unprofessional email, so if you come across something as shoddy as this, you should immediately disregard it. If you go to the official Netflix help center at help.netflix.com, you can find information on how to keep your Netflix account secure. Use a password unique to Netflix and change it periodically. Add a recovery phone number to your account so you can get back into your account. Sign out of unused devices. They have a link so you can sign out of all devices in one go. Be aware of possible phishing attempts. That's exactly what this email is about. As I've shown, it's quite easy to spot if you know what to look for. The next tip is to keep your computer safe. They also have a list of anti-malware and antivirus software you can use if you think your computer is infected. It might be worth saving these links or using one of these in case you need it. They also ask you to report suspicious activity or security flaws. To recap, make sure you confirm the sender, hover over links to see the full website address and make sure it's actually from the company you expect. If you get an email, go directly to the account in question and don't click on any links. Also use strong passwords. I mean, I'm not a security expert, but just a paranoid user. I made this video to help educate the public and raise awareness about these types of emails. If you have any further advice to add or things to look out for, feel free to leave them in the comments. It would be great to learn new things from you. Feel free to share with someone you think will benefit from this. Otherwise, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.